Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your April 2020 tarot reading with me. This month, you guys, I would like to start out with an oracle card. And sorry, I'm like shifting all this around. I want to start out with an oracle card from the Whispers of, of Nature deck. Hopefully you guys can see these cards. I love bringing these cards out in the springtime or whenever there's like a significant shift in weather because this is all about nature and what can be communicated through like a animals and certain, um, you know, snow and trees and leaves and all that kind of stuff. So they're extremely beautiful and detailed cards and I'm going to get you guys one for April, okay? Just something that you need to hear, Sagittarius, that would benefit you in April. So this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What is the message for Sagittarius for April? What do they need to hear? Sagittarius, April 2020. Sagittarius, April 2020. What is the message for Sagittarius? Sun, Moon, and Rising for April 2020. Okay, there it is. Aw. So you have, guys, some of these cards I haven't even seen, so they're just absolutely gorgeous. We have Be Your Best Self Always, Sagittarius, aren't you always being your best self? We got a seahorse here, if that means anything to anybody. A little bit of fish, bubbles, you know, someone here may have multicolored hair, if you can, I don't know if the light is helping at all with this, um, but someone here has like literally rainbow hair. Or that may be significant, you know. If not, that's okay. But for other people, they need to hear that, okay? So seahorses for sure. This is like a very watery energy. But it says be yourself always. It's page or it's uh, number 24. So there may be something about April 24th that is important where you need to be yourself on that day, okay? Now, other than that, I do want to say there is a new moon in Taurus on that day. Um, well, on the 23rd, 24th, there's going to be a new moon in Taurus. So, yeah, that's definitely an interesting day. Bottom of the deck, this is my favorite card that I've seen so far. I haven't seen each of these cards, but this card has come out for me before. The Adventure card, which I didn't realize is how important that is to come out for you. Be your best self, always Sagittarius. There's like a message here for you where you are your best self when you're adventuring. And that is so Sagittarian. You guys are ruled by Jupiter. Um, so similar to Pisces, you are about that optimism. You're about philosophy and going on um, you know, exploring, kind of like that Christopher Columbus energy where you develop your own philosophies and beliefs and knowledge, higher knowledge. I mean, come on now. Tell me something that you learn more from than adventure itself. So be your best self. Um, always be your best self. And you are your best self when you're on an adventure. There's Being your best self is an adventure. There's many ways you can interpret this. You know, yeah, this is awesome. Let's just go ahead and read from the Be Yourself card on page 24. There's some kind of underlying energy here about an adventure, though. I love that energy for you. Okay, maybe there's an adventure that starts when, you, when you're being your best self. I love it. Oh, both of those cards are super Sagittarius. So on page 41, we're going to have a message for you, Sagittarius. And hopefully you can see the cards and my hand don't shake that much as I try to hold it up. Okay, so it says, check in with yourself. How are you feeling at this moment? Are you being the person you aspire to be? Remember that you determine how you feel. You are constantly choosing to feel the way you feel. It is understandable we are all human, and there are times that we don't feel 100%. You drew this card to help you remember to access the highest level of emotion now. Don't settle for, lesson, don't settle for less than you deserve. Do your utmost to achieve more, love more, and be your best. I love that it mentioned highest level, the highest level of anything, Sagittarius, whether you're talking video game, highest level of consciousness, like reaching the highest level of something is a very Jupiterian Sagittarius thing because you guys literally rule the higher levels of knowledge. You know, you, you rule that expansive energy of making something one thing and making it bigger, seeing the bigger picture, okay? So, Sag, let's move on to the tarot part of the reading now. This is the Temperance card. For those of you who don't know, the Temperance card is the ruling card for Sagittarius. It's one of my favorites. It's Archangel Michael energy, the energy of being patient and moderate and balanced, peaceful. Okay, that spirit and physical energy. 
So um, for those of you who are new, you may not know what I like to do before my readings, but I like to shuffle until I find the ruling tarot card for the zodiac sign I'm reading for, in which case this is a temperance for you, Sag. And I wanted to check the underlying energy. So uh, this may be something most of you resonate with. Um, if not, that's okay. It's kind of like a pre-reading I want to do just to see what, you've been, what you're feeling immediately, like your present energy, what's around you in April the most, right? Um, so this could be the past three days, regardless of when you watch. We have the Knight of Pentacles trying to come out. So there's something here about patience, maybe a Virgo, okay? So temperance, the two of pentacles, definitely something about balance here, if you guys can see these cards. Um, yeah, temperance, the two of pentacles, the ace of swords, and the five of pentacles in the chariot. Someone's dealing with a cancer. There may be something here about a vehicle. This is about focus and moving forward towards in order to close some kind of chapter and start something new. Because I know most of you guys are really wanting this new spark of passion. There's something in your life where you're like, okay, story over, nothing more to adventure here. I'm just stagnant here. I'm like losing opportunities here. I'm bored and just hanging here with my burdens. You know what I'm saying? So you're waiting for some kind of financial balance or gift or something to be given to you. But there is a new spark here when something ends, when there's some kind of ch chapter ch chapter closing. Um, and then you may have to travel for it in a car. Someone here may travel a distance in a car. Okay, long distance travel, also a Sagittarius thing. Um, but the first card behind you is this Two of Pentacles. This is the first energy you have, so that of juggling. This is a balance card, but it's a card of a choice as well. Whenever we have a two in tarot, it's like there's more than one thing present. So, of course, there may be a choice. There may be juggling. In this case, it's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, but it's like two things that you value. You're trying to weigh out the pros and cons. Okay, money is infinite, Sagittarius. Just know that. But if this is, if this is two people, places, and things, there's an issue with um, dropping the ball on a certain thing. Like, you can't do both of these things. You've maintained this in April. It's interesting. The temperance also has two... So you're juggling feelings and emotion. It's almost like an experiment to you, these two things. Trying to maintain value of these two things at once. It could be your life and relationships. You know these two things. All you Sagittarius have these two things. But um, there is the Ace of Swords here. So we got the energy of air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Like there's some truth coming in, some clarity. This may be you cutting uh, something out so that you can be less stressed, less um, juggly. This could you this could this is an indication that someone this is like almost the two of swords to me because there's also some intellect behind these two things. You're thinking a lot, but you need to start a new beginning, right? You have the ace of swords and the ace of wands. So you're definitely starting to think about something for the first time. Or there's clarity that's allowing you to do that. And and you know guys, this might involve, you know, being out of work temporarily, financial conflict, homeless, feeling homeless like there's nowhere to go. You know, feeling like you're alone. You might need to ask for help, you guys, if you're going through, like, poverty. Or if there's any resource that you feel is, is lacking, I mean, even toilet paper is that right now, Christ. Um, yeah, there's just some kind of truth that is here, some kind of clarity. Now, this is definitely somebody who is going through conflict. They're trying to juggle all these expenses, um, and so you need some clarity about unemployment, um, poverty, feeling left out in the cold, abandoned, right? That's your truth. Some of you guys may decide to cut a job out or, or a work situation or something. And again, like, I don't know if someone here is in their car, sleeping in a car. I hate when these two cards come up. There could be a cancer left out in the cold here. You may have cancer energy in your chart. But the best way to read this would be you are moving forward. Those of you who are, have lost jobs, homes, or resources, money, conf going through money conflict, something that needs to change, um, you're moving forward victoriously, okay? Someone here is worried if they're going to have enough money for something about a car or something about moving forward. It's like you need to just focus and harness, though, okay? This is about harnessing mentally. I love that there's two victory cards here that both talk about harnessing things through the mind. Someone here just needs to have a positive attitude, okay? It's all about what you think. You're going to move forward and end a cycle of abandonment, though. This is karma. This is Saturn's energy, that's the only planet showing up for you is Saturn. So karma, moving forward to close a chapter, and you're going to start something new. So just hanging around here. Some of you guys made significant sacrifices to end this chapter. Something kind of celebration, too. You're moving forward in, cel in celebratory energy. 
in spite of the conflict that some of you guys are also the fear this could be a fear of losing a home losing a job all of us are feeling that in april with all the stuff going on in the world but this is the most important message especially that two of pentacles that's the card that was right behind you sag a lot of juggling some of you need to be patient those of you who are financially stressed or juggling work home family stuff friendship stuff relationships your own shit going on in your head you know there's going to be clarity this sword can be a tool or a weapon but it's definitely for clarity and it's definitely for cutting things out of your life that aren't true but we've got some juggling here maybe there's some truth here about you know two people two places two things and the fact that you value both and you need to patiently weigh out the pros and cons handle this in like a balanced truthful intellectual way especially if you're going through any kind of conflict in the physical realm of home money family job unemployment energy any lack of resource okay so hopefully that resonates with some of you guys if it didn't it's okay let's just see what comes out for your reading we have the star card coming out first so there's some faith here that someone has an aquarius um this is the first card out though so this symbolizes the very beginning of april which was about two and a half weeks ago we don't have that long of april left so some of this is going to be in retrospection and like you're gonna have to look back into the past but the star card is the card of humanity. You know, humanity is such an important force right now, the collective. I don't know if any of you guys have Aquarius energy or if you're dealing with an Aquarius, but that energy of like hopeful vulnerability is what I get from this. Um, divinity, the stars. This is someone here may be a star. Someone here may, this is like fame or, or destiny because it's cosmic, right? The star, it's a symbol of hope, renewal, and faith. You needed all those things, Sagittarius. Um, and there's there's something here uh, where you see the two vases in the star's hand you're pouring from both into the spectrums kind of like that temperance card one moment guys all right yeah some of you guys may need to drink water okay the star card is the water bearer energy behind or on the bottom of the deck is you Sagittarius the knight of wands this is definitely my card for you could be an Aries or a Leo as well but this is definitely something that you could embody a little bit of an inconsistency here that may be important to note but there's also a passionate message charging forward to you at the beginning of April for some of you the very first few days of April um, someone here may have fire energy and Aquarius energy to consider but this is a passionate message uh, shoot for it now. Um, you know, this is your you at your best self, Sagittarius. This is someone who's on that adventure. Okay, behind the Knight of Wands. Yeah, this might be a Leo. There may be a Leo Aquarius. That's opposite energy here. Um, there may be a child here. Someone may be inconsistent because of a child, but I think this is a passionate message that you're staying hopeful for that would make you very happy. There's some clarity here. So we have all the uh, fire signs here. This is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, literally in order. So is someone here a triple fire sign or is someone here dealing with like someone with Sag energy, somebody with Leo energy, somebody with Aries energy? This is a father-son combination here as well. Someone may have a Leo father. Um, this is authority and control. Yeah, there's a relationship here definitely with a Leo. Or maybe this is a strong emotional connection. Maybe you have to choose. This is a soulmate and it might be a choice, Sag. Let's continue. Because this is getting somewhere. Like, we definitely have a Leo, and there's someone here. Maybe it's a father figure, like the father of your children, whether you're a male or female. Like, apply it how it is. But you're just entering April with a lot of faith, a lot of hope that something's going to be renewed, that the stars are still aligned. This is some kind of wish that you might have, too, Sagittarius. We have the Three of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. Others of you, there's this slow heartbreak energy coming out. That's why you're keeping faith. Maybe in a person um, like an ex. Uh, maybe your wish is... Some of you, there may be a wish to separate with someone that it's moving slow with or that you're, you're with. It's kind of mundane and boring and there's like this other person you're keeping faith in. Might be a Taurus here. I got Taurus here for sure and Virgo. It could be Capricorn too. Um, so the Three of Swords, guys, we know this card, right? This is heartbreak, sorrow, betrayal. There may need to be a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, especially if there's a breakup that took place at the beginning of April or if you just have been separated with someone for the last three months, three years, whatever it might be. There is some slowness here. Someone here may have just freshly got out of a relationship, so they're moving slow. They're focusing more on life and what the practical. 
um, practical offers, you know, just hard work and keeping up a, a steady rhythm. It's very Virgo energy, right? Um, yeah, there's some kind of someone here who's very slow to commit. There's a very slow message. It may be breaking someone's heart, whether it's you or someone else, Sag. Um, this, the slow energy is breaking someone's heart, causing them sorrow and sadness because of how slow something is moving. And that may be causing impatience, but here, this is an earth sign for some of you that, that you're separated from or that you're feeling sadness. Maybe there's an earth sign that feels heartbroken. It could be a friend. We got Aquarius and Virgo here specifically. There may be a third party involving those signs. And then we have Taurus. This is a commitment. Um, there's hard work and commitment here. A slow financial message. This is marriage, or maybe some of you guys need advice or counsel, but this is tradition as well. And we have the Page of Cups, so there's like this new commitment. I don't know if this is a child or a younger Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Someone here is finding a new way to express emotion. They're approaching emotion in a more uh, youthful way, lighthearted energy. Like a, someone who has a crush here, there's definitely a, a Taurus new love or someone who has a Taurus child. Maybe we should just say water signs, some of you. Others of you, this may not be a water sign. This could be just someone with love. Some of you may be same sex, okay, because this is a queen of cups, a female water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But again, the queen of cups is a mother. She's very loving. She's compassionate and psychic, intuitive, um, very sensitive woman, okay? She doesn't always express how she feels. Um, yeah, maybe someone here is apologizing. This is a mother and a child to me, but it doesn't have to be. And we have a Libra here as well. Maybe this is karmic money coming to you through the law, through the justice system. There's a Libra friend here that might be important. Or someone here, there's a third party because they're married, and but they've caught feelings. Like someone here is offering a, a water sign love. Some of you may have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in your chart. We'll see what that turns into. That's a little confusing. I'm feeling the presence of a lot of different people. Or if this is just one person, they have a lot of different ways of coming, showing up in the reading. That might be you, Sagittarius. You are a mutable sign. We just almost had the Ten of Cups come out. So this is about your options when it comes to emotional fulfillment. Seven of Cups is not emotional fulfillment. Seven of Cups is cho choice is an illusion. Okay, sometimes it's like having so many options that it's, that it's really hard to choose any because you know you feel differently about all these people. You know you feel differently about all these options and jobs or living situations or homes or whatever this is. It's just things being offered to you. By the end of April, I'm sure you'd be able to write down or mention or name at least seven different options you had. Maybe they're love options. Maybe some of them are options for, for money or just whatever it is, please know not all that glitters is gold. We have the card of confusion. Could be dealing with the Pisces. Um, maybe this is about your dreams. This is a very subconscious realm here. We do have a full moon um, on May 8th in your subconscious 12th house, Sagittarius. Um, you know, just to chime in with a little bit of astrology, we did have a full moon in Libra, which was your house of friendship, on April 8th. We're going to have a new moon in Taurus. Um, in your sixth house of lifestyle, this is that sixth house energy, okay? Maybe some of you guys are just feeling separated or heartbroken or there's some kind of hurt because of the way everyday life goes for you or something. Like heartbreak's a part of somebody's schedule here. Uh, but we have a queen of pentacles. So someone's wife, someone's mother, um, husband, brother, like husband, <laughs> husband, boyfriend energy. Stable though, regardless of gender, gender, Jesus, gender. The Queen of Pentacles is maybe Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, if I haven't mentioned that. But maybe there's a lot of options, only some of them. Like, this is about making a choice based on your future. The kind of confusion that this woman would go through, she's like, okay, what option do I value most? Maybe you guys have supportive Earth energy, because this is telling me that you guys, when it comes to the illusion of choice, or when it comes to some kind of confusion of options or overwhelming emotional energy in, in the beginning of April, ground yourself. Um... You know, focus on your value. What are, what are these, like if so, for example, if this is in regards to love, because some of you this is, you know, you have a lot of options now because you're, you just got, you're broken up, you know, there's, there's a separation. Um, so you're moving a little bit slower and you're definitely focused on earth energy. The more tangible, the practical, what would make sense logically in regards to security and your worth and value. That's what this Queen of Pentacles is doing, okay? Behind her is the Nine of Wands. Yeah, someone here is a bit defensive and someone's been dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, look at this. We have the Queen and the King of Pentacles. That is definitely um, 
of relationships. Someone here maybe was in a codependent relationship where there's a lot of finance finance battles. Someone here is very cold and stubborn. We got Taurus. This might be Taurus season energy. And then we have you, Sagittarius. So you could also be dealing with someone with Sag energy. But here you are just juggling these two pinnacles. Maybe you're taking the value that two people have and you're trying to balance both. What would make both people happy? There could be... I don't know what's going on here, but the, the Queen and the King of Pentacles have a very physical relationship. There's not always emotional emotions there. There's not always passion. It's just... Maybe there's a relationship, maybe there's a business partnership, and there's battles there. But these two people know their own worth and value. There's some battles going on um, between maybe two different earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I'm not sure. But point is, is you need, maybe you have to choose some kind of option based on your security or your home or your finances. Okay, you need to be logical, Sagittarius, when it comes to all the options. No matter what these options are, love options, work options. You know, whatever it is, just be your best. Try to be your ground. Your be grounded when you do this. So, what else do we have for Sag? We have the Five of Wands. This just came out in the Scorpio reading. So, you're actually experiencing some conflict and tension heading into the second week of April, or the second two weeks, the, the second half of April, I should say. Yeah, this right here is like there may be competition. Maybe there's a lot of options and a lot of people, at least five to seven people you have uh, some somewhat of connection with, sexual connections, emotional connections, but some of this is an illusion. Some of this is not worth fighting over or competing over if it's going to confuse you, you know what I mean, this little battle here, and yeah, someone here may be pregnant or a mother, this is, maybe there's something here about having to mother someone and take care of someone. Whether that's an actual mother, you know, some of us have pets, some of us are nurses, or we're taking care of people. This is that mothering energy of creation. And it's the energy of Venus, which is in your seventh house, Sag. And when Venus goes to the seventh house, there's actually going to be a Venus retrograde in your seventh house. So please get ready for all these options, but not just any old options. Like th this is going to start a brawl, okay? This isn't the kind of reading where you have all these energies, all these options in people, at least. And it's not, and they're not going to find out about each other and stuff. Like, it's not going to go smoothly. It's like there's there's conflict being caused heading into the second half of April with all this confusion. Okay, but there's a battle. Like I said, some this is a wife, maybe a mother. Venus energy, being abundant. Someone's very beautiful. Yeah, this is some kind of abundance coming in with the Ace of Pentacles. It might be a lump sum of money coming to a mother or a wife. Maybe this is involving a third party. I do see someone here who's, who's a wife, but... If, you're, if you are the wife, there's a third party in your relationship. But there's three beautiful women here. Maybe it's a friendship, but there's also a golden opportunity. This is going to change everything with the, the Wheel of Fortune card. Getting this Ace of Pentacles, this lump sum of money in April, it could be assistance, like unemployment. Some of us are going through that. We have that stimulus check for those of you who are in the States. There's going to be a new beginning that you're unaware of, though, Sag. You need to follow your intuition. You could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. Um, but you're not aware of it. Something may come to an ending here. It may have to cause you to stand up and to take this risk, to jump into a new career, to jump into a new future, to jump into a new household or family dynamic, relationship. Someone here is married and living with somebody, and that might be an issue. Let's see what the second half of April is going on. I just know you need to be your best self. That's what, that's what the stars have told me. Regardless of slow energy, regardless of options and confusion and battles and tension and breakups and heartbreak, you need to be your best self through all this, Sagittarius. You need to look your best and feel your best. And this is victorious energy coming in. There's a lot of attention on you, even the stars. Like, it's almost like someone here is a celebrity. You know, there are Sagittarius celebrities. I doubt they're going to be watching this, but it's interesting Someone here is just getting a lot of attention, like a star. They're the center of the attention. You may be giving this attention to someone, but this is victory. Okay, this was written. This is my, maybe a promotion or acknowledgement for something. You're being acknowledged for something. Maybe this is like a commitment. Or, again, there's marriage coming up here. Some kind of, like, definitely some kind of um, strong foundation and commitment. Marriage, this is counseling. A traditional victory. And it's interesting, you move from the Five of Wands to the Six of Wands. And let me tell you, this is this is Aries energy. And that trines you. The first half of April may have been really chill because Aries trines you. That's positive, harmonious flow. So you're keeping faith. You're, you're, you're being able to move forward. 
even through the confusion and the tension, you're moving forward as the Knight of Pentacles, someone sturdy. Again, this could be someone exterior to you. I see a lot of breakups here surrounding Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, or just separation from the practical, however that resonates. You're trying to be practical here, but it's like, wow, this isn't, this is hard energy to be practical through because it's smoky, it's, there's a lot of feelings, a lot of options, illusions, confusion. And on top of that, there's a battle here that this causes in your in your environment with other people. But as I was saying, you move to the second half, and this is when you move into Taurus season, which is your sixth house. So you went through fifth house energy. That's romance and creativity. As a Sagittarius, Aries season is, is really great for that. But we're going to have to shift to your life. Maybe that's why you're trying to be a little bit practical now that you're separated from someone or now that there's some kind of loss of a resource or something. You're like really going to be thinking about that energy, your day-to-day -day routine, your health, your lifestyle, the services you offer other people. There could be some kind of promotion or acknowledgement that you're keeping faith in, that you're going to be victorious with this commitment. And we have the Ace of Wands. There's a new commitment that sparks at the end of April. And it might be because of a phone call. It might be, it's definitely maybe a sexual encounter. And this is resurrection. So the second chance to start something, maybe excuse me, with a Capricorn, or maybe this is just a very lust. We have uh, the moon card, that's Pisces. We got Pisces and Capricorn here. It could be Capricorn moon specifically. Um, there could be a Pisces friend that is important as well here, or Cancer. But there's also, when the moon card and the devil card come up, there's a lot of fear and anxiety and like hidden toxicity here. We got Pluto and Capricorn showing up. That's going to be going retrograde in a few days. So Pluto retrograde is going to give you uh, second chances at commitments and new sparks, um, maybe with like a, a karmic partner, but there's fears and lust and like toxicity and addiction, and, and this is all happening underneath the scenes, but anyway, Sag, like there's a lot of attention here heading into the second half of April, a lot of acknowledgement, maybe a celebration of some kind, and out comes the Ace of Cups, definitely new love, okay, there's someone new you're giving attention to. At the end of April, there's some new feelings that's coming in. After you went through a very slow breakup, break a heartbreak slowed someone down here at the beginning of April. They kept faith, and it could have been Aquarius. I don't know. Um, and you had, you had realized you had a lot of options and a lot of competitors, um, or these are people fighting for your attention or something. But there's this, there's it's like there's a competition and someone's victorious. I don't know if you guys actually did go through some kind of competition. Um, where you won something or whatever, or you maybe someone won that there's, I don't know, someone lived to fight another day, and there's like, new love, okay, and you don't see this coming, like, pay attention to the moon's energy with the high priestess, follow your intuition about this new love, you may have a dream, but this is someone who's keeping their feelings a secret, they, they keep an, uh, they keep an eye on you, and they show you attention, but this is someone who's like, afraid to say I love you or something, and it's, maybe it's someone who's going through a secret ending, Maybe there needs to be an intuitive ending. You need you need to follow your intuition about ending something else to start something new. Yeah, you need to stand up for yourself. Let something end. That's what you don't realize. And this may be the Taurus new moon at the end. This is definitely Taurus new moon energy around the 24th of April. That might be when there's like this secret new love that you're getting attention. There's some flirting. This is flirting energy to me. But you might not see this coming because it's not completely revealed to you yet, Sad. You didn't know this was coming um at the beginning of april so that might be why there was like a little bit of a faith test here where you moved a bit slower with your broken heart and weighed out your options and went through this conflict but there after you you're gonna this the second half of april is gonna be much better when it comes to feelings and love there might be a new child here um but you guys are waiting on something here waiting on some kind of investment or new love let's see what else do we have for sag for april we have the queen of pentacles so this could definitely be a, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn new love. Um, a wife, you know, someone who is wifey material. This could be your energy if you're a feminine energy watching. But, you know, don't get hung up on the queen energy. This could be, a, it's a stable new love offer. And here's the king of wands. So there's someone who's passionate here and who's, who's mastered the, the art of like leadership and expression and um, attractiveness and taking action. And this woman here, because this is a king and a queen, whether you're same sex watching or not, it's it's a it's a relationship. Fire and what fire and earth signs are definitely interesting. There's an earth sign here that might be offering you love and attention, Sag, at the end of the month. But you know, there's also Virgo here. Um, we have the four of wands again, marriage, commitment, home environment stuff, maybe a celebration. 
but look we have definitely a message here i i can't even make this shit up someone here is feeling really trapped in their head being isolated and quarantined this is the quarantine card virgo energy being a hermit at home we are hom hermited in our homes this month and some of us because of that are stuck in our heads some of you could be dealing with a libra you might have libra energy feeling trapped in your head with a libra or how to communicate with someone how do you get your way out of this intellectually you know some of you guys live alone and this may be a bit of a loneliness energy especially if if there's something here about a wedding or marriage or celebration or something but you're taking an action there's something here about getting rest and healing this is definitely another one of those quarantine cards let's get the last april at last day of april for you sad when you move into may so it's showing me like april 29th april 30th 2020 for sagittarius and we have the eight of pentacles so there's going to be something that oh okay and that wanted to come out too the eight of wands eight of pentacles eight of wands at the end so this right here there's something fast going on at the end of april for you this reminds me of your energy sag because it's the arrows of focus everything's headed in the in the same direction when it comes to a project working a uh, school teaching energy mastering something apprenticeship working on something with your hands to make money some of you there's going to be something that you need to travel for okay there's a new love and I see a lot of stability here. Uh, anybody can be the Queen of Pentacles. So this is damn sure you guys uh, really focusing on your stability. You were already kind of doing that. There was a breakup or some kind of ending to a job or a living situation, relationship, whatever. The loss of whatever it was at the beginning of April got you ready. It got you in this six, uh, sixth house Virgo. You know, I imagine that what that is for Sag, like the nothing really fun about it you know the day-to-day -day, it's like the scheduling energy and the critiquing energy and the lower mind energy and the lifestyle the the boring mundane this put you into that and where, that's where you found the options and all that we went through that but at the at the end there's a lot of victory and some kind of maybe promotion at work i see there's definitely security here and it's happening fast okay it might all happen because of some kind of text or uh communication that comes in about work you, you hear back about work so the bottom of the deck for your whole reading is the judgment card. So that's Plutonian energy, the energy of like rebirth, uh, resurrection, Scorpio energy. Pluto's going retrograde this month, so that might really affect you, Sag. It's the energy of second chances, okay? Some of you feel really called underneath all this energy the whole time at a deep subconscious level. You feel, you feel called, you know? So pay attention to that energy when it comes to these options. Which one do you feel the most called to do? You know what I'm saying? That's where your faith st stemmed from at the beginning of the month anyway. This is maybe a phone call, but this is judgment day. This is something resurrecting for the second time, for a second chance, forgiveness, feeling beckoned to do a certain thing, feeling that inner calling to find that true purpose, and really just transforming, and there's forgiveness here too. I cannot tell you how important Pluto and Capricorn is in that, re that retrograde this month. Literally on April 22nd, Pluto's going retrograde. That might be boom. That might trigger something. This might be the second chance at karma, a second chance at, um, with a Capricorn or a phone call with a Capricorn. Maybe it's the second chance to kick an addiction or to be forgiven for some kind of sin. Or it, This is a weird thing going on, Sag. Okay, Queen of Wands could be you or you know a female fire sign. It doesn't have to be female, but we got Aries Leo Sag. This is just a second opportunity to take action whatever that means okay to end a burden perhaps you know maybe walk away on that scorpio full moon or this is how someone feels they're walking away to something more emotionally fulfilling and dropping a burden and this may shock someone because we do have like mars and gemini here okay this is an unexpected love connection or an unexpected decision that some of you guys make there might be some things going on in the relationships those of you guys there's arguing and maybe a choice and this choice to end a burden may crumble something else. There's definitely a love connection. Someone is walking away. They may wanna. They may walk away on the the Taurus new moon on the 24th, and then there may be some reconciliation energy on the May 8th. So that's like a two week time period, because the Eight of Cups is like walking away, coming back, walking away, going on a soul journey, trying to find that ninth cup of fulfillment. Someone's taking action here. They're gonna be confident enough to take action. Um, and it may or may not have something to do. I don't know if this is like typical toxicity. Some of you are dealing with a Scorpio or a Capricorn, but 
this is something you feel chained to and there's going to be some judgment there okay this is i can't even tell you what what this this is residing over your whole reading this is actually the real thing for some of you guys like actual judgment day actual like this is some kind of prophecy here for some of you second chance to break chains with something okay but that's that's residing over your whole reading and the actions that you're going to be taking through confidence um throughout april okay so Sagittarius, that is what I have for you guys. I love to see that there's going to be some quick movement. Um, I know it was kind of slow at the beginning of April. Maybe there's some kind of message that by the end of April, it picks up. You're able to work on it. You're feeling more confident like that Queen of Pentacles. I love that. Uh, there's definitely new love here too with the Ace of Cups. But keep in mind, there's some kind of battle or tension that you, you need to victoriously get your way through. You're going to be acknowledged for this conflict specifically when it comes to the options okay so be your best self Sagittarius is what really keeps calling me that seems to be the main message the past is going to come calling second chances in the, the past okay so if you guys resonated with this and you'd like a personal reading please look in my description box for my email and you can get a hold of me other than that um, I appreciate all your comments likes likes and subscribes but I'm going to wish you guys a happy and healthy um, April, and I'll talk to you guys again in May. Bye.